PBL? What is that? Well, PBL is a learning approach. At Stenden University, real-life professional problems serve as the point of departure for your learning process. It is called problem-based learning, thus PBL. Most of the time, you'll be studying at our school. Very often, you won't study within a class, but in a group. Your group consists of about 12 fellow students. In turns, you'll be the chairperson, the minute maker or secretary, the board writer or a regular group member. A teacher facilitates the PBL session. In PBL, he is not called a teacher, but a tutor. Every week, you'll be working together on various problems. So, learning in PBL starts with a real-life problem from your future profession. And then, <coughs> we're going to explain this to you now. Every group meets twice a week to deal with the problem. You aren't just going to do that offhand, because PBL has a clear structure. You work on the problem in seven steps. The first step will be to read the text. You'll find out if everyone has understood the text and the problem. From there, you'll have a common starting point. Together, you'll frame the central topic and discuss it in detail. During the second step, all of you determine what kind of problem it is and formulate a clear problem definition based on the central topic. During step three, the group has to get an overview of the existing prior knowledge by analyzing the problem. You can achieve that through brainstorming, for example. It is about free flow of thought and ideas about the central topic. Whether they are realistic is not important yet. During the next step, step four, you will arrange all the input in such a way so that a clear structure becomes visible. In the fifth step, potential knowledge gaps will be discussed, as well as topics you still have to deal with to be able to grasp the problem completely. Your group will define the learning goals for your individual study that will lead to new knowledge. Mostly, you will carry out step six on your own. For example, through an interview with an expert. Or you look for a quiet place at school or stay at home to look up a variety of theories, facts and information in your books and on the internet. You will write down the information gathered and also what you have learned. That way, you will be well prepared for the group discussion during step 7. In step 7, you and your peers will discuss the findings from your individual study, led by the chairperson. All of you bring in new information. And through talking and listening, explaining and asking questions, you will have acquired new knowledge. That way, within a few weeks, you'll gain knowledge about issues you'll encounter in your future profession. In the same session after step 7, everyone begins reading up on a new problem and your group starts afresh at step 1. That's how PBL works! <laughs>